Do you spend a lot of your offseason in Connecticut? No. No, no. I live in Vegas. Okay. How often do you get back? Just for this. Just for this, yeah. Why is this important to you? What's it like to come back? You know, as a little kid, so I started playing. I, this is where I played in the summertime before I started playing AAU. I always came here. A lot of my friends would play, and you know, it's always been a part of me growing up as a kid. So yeah. even now, even now that I play in the NBA, I still make an effort to come out here and at least play and show my face. And I think you're saying uh, that you only come back, or you're only allowed to do two events outside of the NBA in the off season. So yeah. this is just one of them. Yeah. What is the other one? Uh, I play in the Miami Pro League. Okay. Really, uh, either one of those two I play in. What is it specifically about the Osgo? I mean, you're back here in a high school gym. It's gonna be yeah. a little bit. Different. I mean, I've, I've had I've had so many memories in this gym. You know, just hey, you practice being here, uh, playing in the Osgo the tournaments being played here, and this gym is you know even though I'm from Middletown, you know, it's like home to me. I've been in this gym so many times, and you know what they do with the Osgo for the kids in the community to have everybody come out under one roof just to enjoy some games of basketball with no uh, you know with no consequences, which is great. Just to have everybody here for me to be a part of it is. It's truly an honor for me to still be here. You know, seven years of my career, and I still come back every year. So, you know, it's an attest to, you know, coach here, putting on a good show and have a good competition come out. I mean, you've had a lot of success in this. Okay. How have you fit into the league? How has the NBA experience been um, with you fitting into a certain style of play? And you know, every, every season I've adjusted. You know, the game changes every year, and I've always found ways to stay around and stay relevant. I try and do things throughout the summers to, you know, Stay with the new era of style of game. Uh, my first couple of years is still the banging of the post and doing uh, all the nitty gritty stuff over the years. It's changed to bigs being able to shoot and move around the floor and be more agile, which is good for me because I'm a very agile guy. So I'm able to guard, you know, anywhere from two to five, and it makes makes it really fun for my team and it's easy for me to still stay on the floor and I can still be effective on both ends of the court. How do you balance like the evolution of the game and being prepared for that with like? Being, you know, your bread and butter is you're going to own the paint. Yeah. You know? So you don't want to change too drastically, right? No, I mean, it, the, the game is changing, so I don't get away from, you know, what I know, but I still enjoy adding different things to my game. You know, this year I've added a three-point shot to my game. I'm able to bring the ball up the floor for my team, which yeah. takes a lot of pressure off our guards, which is also fun for me because I've done it as a kid, just bringing the ball to the floor, making plays. I'm able to pass the ball very well, too. Uh, I make great decisions when I do have the ball, so... Uh, just the, ele the evolution of the game has changed, but I'm doing a really good job of changing along with it as well, too. You've got a lot of years left. You're still a young yeah. guy. Yeah, I'm free agent next summer. <laughs> yeah. Looking forward to that. Or? Yeah, it should be fun. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, I think I'm the only one that like has a big contract coming up for that year. There's, there's very few like just pure centers anymore. Yeah, does that too, make you uh, it's not too many. commodity, I mean, you think, on a free agent market? I think for me, for next year's free agency, obviously the year I have this year is really important. Sure. Uh, this being my contract year and the way I have to play, uh, you know, show what next all season will do for me. So I think for me as a player, just continue to play hard and do what I do best and, you know, making an effort to help my team win the both end of the court. You know, anything is possible next summer. Did you know you'd be this effective of a rebounder in the NBA? Yeah. You know, my coaches, before I left, my high school coaches, I'm still really close to them to this day, you know, past up and his J.R. Hargraves. Uh, before I left, you know, their one advice to me was find a net and stick to it. Find something that you're really special at and perfect it. And obviously, not the greatest scorer in the world, not the greatest shooter in the world, but I'm tough. And rebounding is something that not too many people want to put the effort in to do. So I went in, figured out that rebounding is my knack, and I just attacked it and became, I, I think, I'm the best ever. You look at your numbers, and if you play another eight or ten years. They've gotten better each, each and every year, so. You've gotten better, and you, you're putting together career statistics <coughs> that will rank up there like Absolutely. with some of the game's great players. Appreciate it. Yeah, just, just I wanted more. That's, that's all it really is. You know, nobody wants to get hit every possession to get a rebound. And, I want to, so that's what makes me, you know, still relevant to this day. You like your contact. Yeah, I enjoy it. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you can create all of Yeah, I, I, I create a lot of people, but I, I, like, I like being hit too, because nobody likes getting hit back, so. Yeah. You, so like, you mentioned just throughout the evolution of your game and stuff, evolution of the NBA. Um, I, and like you said, it's a contract year. Do you feel any, like, concerns or pressure that you have to 
um, that's going to be this big season for you and you need No, to. I'm not. I'm not concerned about anything. I just play the game. You know, I let whatever happens, happens. You know, my game will speak for itself. And the last contract I signed, you know, is going to test to that. You know, my style of play is what my team is looking for. And, you know, I'll get paid for it. So a beer a day, huh? huh? A beer a day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's been the the hot topic the past couple of weeks. Yeah. You know, after I did that article, um, yeah, I stopped eating meat. I took meat out of my diet. You know, all red meat. I don't eat chicken or anything. I just eat a lot of fish, and you know, I try to eat a lot of veggies as well too, and just keep fruit in my diet as well too. So the beer helps you with the calories. I need to go find one now. Actually, <laughs> I'm over here shaking right now. <laughs> It was really hard, you know. I, start, I started about I started uh, doing it about two months ago, and my first week I was like, Nah, I can't, I can't do this shit. This is crazy. Like after my workouts, I'm like dead on the floor, shaking, like I'm like about to pass out. But you know, one thing with me is uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep doing it. I, I knew what you know, the the, the meat and the red meat does for me. You know, I did a couple tests, a couple blood work tests to find out how, what my body does to digest food and. With meat, instead of taking 24 hours, my body takes 72, and it's really hard for me to digest those foods. So then I start gaining weight, I start getting more sluggish, and, I, and it takes a while for me to sleep because I just get so uh, so foggy sometimes. So since I'm taking it, I sleep better, and you know I feel a lot better too when I'm you know when I'm moving around. I just wanted to ask you one follow-up question on rebounding. Like, are there you obviously have a lot going for you with your size and your toughness as you mentioned? But is it, how much of rebounding is an art and a skill you can? Uh, work on over time. I, like, what have you learned through six, six, seven years that makes you a better rebounder, maybe than you were? I think coming in, it was just based off field, but now yeah. it's more positioning. And when I do go after rebounds, I can't try to go after every rebound like I used to because I do have to get back on defense because the game is a lot faster now. Bigs are able to push the ball on the break when they get the ball. So I pick and choose my spots, and I still end up getting a majority of them too because, you know, like I said, I wanted more. I gotta ask you what happened on the uh, the, the the final possession there. Oh man, you know I don't I can't speak on it. I don't know if you guys find people here, so <laughs> I don't, don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about the referees here, but no, it's all fun. It's all funny games here, man. You know, I'm just here to have a good time. You know, I don't take anything too seriously. Yeah. Um, you know, with the last play, obviously I tried to take a shot to get fouled. I did get fouled, and you know, I didn't get it. You know, the same play happened in the possession before. He got the three point shot. I tried to do the same thing. I didn't get it, but obviously it is what it is. Game's over. We lost. We all had a good time here today, and yeah. you know it's, that's all that matters is we gave the crowd a good show. Back to Vegas now, or are you gonna stick right? No, I'll be here tomorrow. Oh, if we're playing tomorrow, I don't know if we're playing tomorrow or not, but I'll be here until yeah. Monday. I'm gonna go spend some time with my family for a little bit till I get out of here. You've seen a lot of guys you, you came up with in the AAU. Yeah, it's crazy. How's that feel? Cause yeah. we, and they're still here, and they love that. It's, they're doing it for the love of basketball. You and the event. You see these same guys coming up that you played with. How's that feel? Yeah, for me, it's crazy to see some of these guys. Same that guys. I, yeah, same guys I've grown up with. You know, now they have families, have kids, and you know they're still playing the game. And it's just it just shows how how Connecticut is that we love basketball and we are a state of great basketball players. And you know we should have more opportunities for players that do come out of here. And I think it's starting to get a little bit better with some of the kids that are out here now too. I've seen a lot. I think there was one young kid out there today, a left-handed shooter. Uh, I think he was top 100 and a really good kid. Uh, but, you know, it's just crazy to see those guys again, too, see how far they've come and see how their lives have, you know, how, how it's changed since I've, you know, been here from a little kid. Did you choose not to pursue the USA basketball opportunity just to focus on your own training? Or? With, the, with the USA basketball thing, you know, it was a couple of things, but the main reason was because it is my contract year and I couldn't afford to, you know, take that long trip for four weeks, you know, being on the road when I do have a, you know, tough season coming up is a big year for me, so I really stayed back to really focus on my game and focus on the Detroit Pistons on how to get us to the next level to, you know, get past the first round.